just a quick warning. When I play computer games, I have a tendency to get a little bit grumpy at times. And if I get a little bit grumpy, I have a tendency to swear. So you have been warned. Anyway, I'm Graham Woodward. I'm getting grumpier and grumpier by the day. Welcome to my midlife crisis. My first time playing Mario Tennis Aces. Hopefully this is your first time of seeing it. Let's have a look what it's all about. Mario and Peach versus Bowser and Bowser Jr. in Marina Stadium. Greetings tennis fans, welcome to Marina Stadium. I don't know what this accent is. We're at a critical point in the finals, folks. Victory hands in the balance against our blue team of Mario and Peach and surprisingly reigning supreme. Bowser blew right through all his energy in the first part of the match, and now he's in a pinch. <laughs> now we're at a match point, Team Mario is one point away from taking the championship. Now, there's going to be a few accents as I go through this. I hope you will see what's happening. They're going to change, they're going to be random, and I apologise. But hopefully, uh, you'll enjoy it. We'll see. Oh, seemingly we won. You didn't have to do anything. That's it, first game one, didn't even have to press a button. Bargain. Oh, okay, what's happening? Anything? Oh, okay, yeah, here we are. Outside the stadium, I need to stay there. Oh, that's Toad. Uh, voice for Toad. Congratulations, champs. What amazing teamwork. Now for the best part, let's take a look at that shiny trophy and uh, uh oh, looks like we have some visitors. Congratulations. <laughs> we knew you'd steal another win. <laughs> and nice guys that we are, we have a little gift to honor the new champions. This is the most powerful racket in the world. It's only suitable for the best of the best. <laughs> Or Northern. I'm, I'm from the Midlands, but I'm doing Northern, that's why it is. Hey, what's going on here? You two acting mighty sketchy. Wow. Don't you like a gift, Mario? It's none other than the legendary racket from the Temple of Basque. Legendary racket from the Temple of Basque. Could it be? Oh. No, Luigi. Nope, what's going on with Luigi? Yeah, that hasn't taken long, has it? Oh! Oh! oh. It's all kicking off, Luigi's turning to a demon. Oh. Wary Jim, Wary, 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 turning to Tim Men. Everyone's being killed. There's violence. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. It was very stressful. Oh, here we go at the beginning. Can I do anything? No, I can't. I'm in the stadium. Oh man, that tornado was intense. It really messed up the stadium. I still can't believe that happened. It's like a real life nightmare. I don't see Luigi and the others anywhere. Where could they be? Where? Oh, no. Ladies voice like others. I have a bad feeling about this. Why and why Luigi? Even more suspicious than usual. Sounds crazy, but I believe it was the racket script here that wrapped up poor Luigi. How unsettling. Mm -hmm. Toad, you know something, don't you? That winning smile can't fool me. Well, it's just a rumour, but they say this island was once home to the prosperous kingdom of Basque. Oh, of course, Basque ruins is the desert. In the desert is a relic of once great kingdom. I hear archaeologists went there recently to search it. Tennis was very popular in the Kingdom of Basque. Ruined walls are filled with paintings of people playing. Among those wall paintings is one that's very strange to say at least. It's, a, it's of a spooky racket floating in the sky with people bowing down before it. It almost looks like the racket is controlling them. Magic. A racket with mind control powers? Oh goodness. Goodness indeed. 
Wait a minute, are you suggesting that Luigi and the others are being controlled by an almighty tennis racket? Can't rule it out. For now, maybe we can find out more at Bask Ruins. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You're right. Let's go right now. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. That sounds dangerous. Too dangerous for important diplomats like you two. Oh. Princess Peach and Princess Daisy, please allow Mario and me. Please allow Mario and me to go investigate on your bill. And if I was Mario at this point, we go. I told, oh, what are you doing? Why well, you let them in go on their own? You're making me do this dangerous stuff. Tension's racist voice there. I do apologize. Sorry, Mario. Besides, it's possible Luigi and the others will turn up while we're gone. Yes. Yes, that's true. In that case, we leave this important task to you, dear friends. Of course you would. We won't let you down. Come on, Mario. Let's head to that desert right away. Come on. Please don't put yourselves in danger. We'll be awaiting your safe return. You're no strange to adventure, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Please, just bring Luigi back safely. Yeah. Yes. You'll do it, you're right. You can also compete in free play or swing mode if you press plus or minus to return to the main menu. This will call you for the auto save, blah, blah, blah. Right, can I now move? I can now move. This looks like a... Basque ruins, indeed they are Basque ruins. Oh, it's the dry bones! Dry bones voice, right. Um, stop right there. Okay, this is what we're going with. Test here is Basque ruins. Unless you have important business there, you better scrim. But we need to investigate the inside of those ruins. Can't you let us through? Pretty please. Well, why not? You don't seem like troublemakers. But you should know that the best greens can only be entered by those who can play tennis. This is South African, by the way. So, if you want to pass through, you'll have to prove yourself by beating me in a match. Yeah. Looks like we have no choice, Mario. We can't move forward unless we beat this guy at tennis. Yeah. Let's do this! And by us, I mean you. Yeah. Of course. My bones pick one game, one set match, beat dry bones in a tennis match. Right, here we go, we're actually gonna play some tennis. Right. Before we before we start, I see you have proper tennis attire, but there's no guarantee you can actually play. I'll go ahead and teach you the basics of tennis before the match. It's only fair since I'm basically a pro player. We'll start with a nice serve. First, give the ball a toss. Right, toss in the ball. Okay. Well done. After tossing it, hit the ball while it's in the air to serve. Right, so I'm guessing A and then A. A and then A. There we go. Easy enough. Nice. Looks like you've got the real neck for this. Now try hitting back your opponent's shot. That's called a return. Don't forget to let the ball bounce once before serving the, re the returning a serve. It's against the rules to return a serve without letting it bounce. Do that, and your opponent will get the point. Okay, try to return my serve. Right, okay. Yeah. We've got this. That's the stuff. After the serve, you and your opponent will hit the ball back and forth and try to score points. Of course, just hitting the ball to and fro with A won't score you any points. You'll need a bit of strategy if you want to win. To start, aim at a spot far from your opponent. Move the L stick left or right to send the ball flying to the edges of the court. Right, let's do that. Now that's. I've got this. Oh, if you want more speed, try using a powerful shot. Press an A twice to hit the ball harder than usual for a much faster shot. To hit a ball faster still, use a charge shot. Press A before the ball arrives to build power before hitting the ball. If you near the ball as you're charging, you automatically swing and hit it. Your rivals will also try to send powerful shots to the left or right sides of the court. Try to return to the center after you hit a ball so that you have a good shot of success returning. Now you know the basics of tennis. That was me throwing you a bone. <laughs> but now it's time that the match begin. Oh, good job, man. Good one. All right, match. Might be a virtue tennis this on the uh, Dreamcast. Remember that we just had to kind of send a thing, just 
hit the ball and just always try and force them to one side and then oh crap. Force them to one side. Oh crap. And then uh, hit, just hit the ball in the opposite corners. Jeez. I wasn't expecting that from honest. Come on again. Right. That's it. That's the one. Yeah, Birch with tennis. I don't know how to nice him, but I don't know what for. I don't know if I did anything special. Serve, hit it at the right time. Match point. Oh, match point. It's just uh, so we say. We're done with this now. Oh, um, I'm expecting that. Match point. That is it. Game set and match. Game over. Game set match, Mario. Let's do this. And we are saving. Right. What's next? Darkness. Darkness is next. Right. That's brilliant. I lost. Seriously, I made it to the second end of a real life tournament only to one day be bested by amateurs. I'm not gonna lie. That stings. I guess you're pretty okay, Tennis. You could have warned me. No fun in that. Time bones. Right, Temple of Basque. Maria, the Temple of Basque, the crown jewel of Basque ruins. This is where those wall paintings were discovered. There's gotta be a clue in here. Come on. Hey, Basque ruins. An ancient trial, prove your tennis skills and solve the gate puzzle. Oh, visitors to the Temple of Basque. Before all else, I require a display of skill. And top spin, right? Top spin. Slice. A top spin, B slice. Y is a flat top shot. I could never quite. Judge this. Bit weird. X and I prefer long. Judging the distance is a bit weird. Down. Oh, beautiful. It's like Federer. I say strength and honor, as well as great potential. I believe you have what it takes to overcome this trial. Oh, I've got to do this ten times. Use a different shot you know of to solve the mystery and open the gates of trials. I don't know if any ones are okay, going to tell me what to do. Excellent. One. Two. I'll never remember what each one does. No, I'll never lob at least. Lob and drop shot, I'll remember. Right. It's a fascinating game for you guys, I'd imagine. Oh, I'm going as quick as I can. Five, six. Can't really count. I'm going to come from over there. Over there. Okay. Seven. Seven. Get that reference. It's really fun there. Eight. Nine. Last one. And you can wake up. Ten. Oh, we've opened something. Open the gate. That's right, so the auto saves all the way through, which is nice. Quite enjoying it. It's, um, very simple buttons. I won't remember them all, but it's nice and easy, as you'd expect from a tennis game, I suppose. What the? Uh, 
What? Master Mario, I have been awaiting your most fated of arrivals. I am Aster, humble guardian of the noble king of Bask. It is my duty to watch over the one called Luthien. Well, Lucian, Luthien, I'm going to say. Luthien, as you almost certainly already know, is the name of an almighty racket. It is a dangerous being with the power to control people. King Bask, once ruled this kingdom, was awed by the racket's power and took it at his, as his own. As his own, I can't read. It, in the end, it destroyed the entire kingdom. But with the last of his power, our king somehow managed to seal Luthien away. King Bask stripped the racket of its power. He then divided said power between five power stones, which he hid in different areas of this island. Completely unlike any kind of film that may be out with a gauntlet with power stones. Ignore that. It's something completely different. To ensure no one could ever restore Luthien's power to control people against their will, he hid the racket away in a secret room in this very temple. Since then, many ages have passed. This uh, time took its toll and that room fell to ruin. Breaking the seal, that's when the racket fell into new hands. Yeah. Trying to speed up the reading. Oh boy, so Wally and Waluigi heard the myth of the almighty racket and stole it from themselves. That's, oh, that's not good. Luthien had no trouble at all controlling two men so wholly motivated by greed. Yeah. I am certain that fell racket will try to gather the five power stones and reclaim its original power. I don't know if I'll be able to keep this voice up for very long, but I'll try. Her only hope is for you to gather the five power stones before Luthien does. <coughs> ah, excuse me, it can surely sense uh, where its power resides. At some point in your journey, I'm afraid you will have to face those who wield Luthien's might. You hear that, Mario? You are going to have to face Luthien eventually. But how can we win against such power? You must master the powerful tennis move called the Special Shot, which has been passed down for countless ages without any major prevail. There is a contraption in this temple that allowed the ancient people of the Kingdom of Basque to train. He may discover new powers hidden within. Right. Well, thank Mario. In order to use the Special Shot, you must first master a new power called the Zone Shot. With your natural prowess, I'm sure you'll have no trouble detecting the star point where easy to hit balls fall. If you jump high at a star point, you'll be able to hit the ball in various spots on the court. Right, I, am, I think I've seen this in clips. Let's have a look. Smash. Let's go there, that's good. Get on there. Fantastic! The power of the zone shot will damage your opponent's racket. An opponent whose last racket breaks from excessive damage will be unable to continue, which means they will lose the match. Perfect, the zone shot, and the way you approach the glorious game of tennis will be forever changed. That is no exaggeration, merely fact. If you think of a zone shot as an attack technique, there is also a defensive technique that can counter it. It's called Zone Speed, and it sharpens your focus to the extreme, seemingly slowing the flow of time so that you can easily chase down the ball. When your opponent sends a ball flying, allow all distractions to melt away. Get in the zone, as it were. And zone Speed, same button. Aha, I get it. Ooh, wasn't yeah. expecting that. Oh, did, did I do it? I did it. Right, so don't let go of the button is the trick. Excellent! Zone speed is a great way to catch up to the wall, and don't worry, using it won't reduce the power of your zone shot. It's, it's also advisable to work on your block timing, so you can protect your record from your opponent's zone shots. Thanks for the shining ball, it's your block. Oh, oh! Yes, I it. First time. Timing. Still up here. Are you weary, Master Mario? In order to hit a zone shot or, your, or use zone speed, you'll need to store up some energy. Zone shots and zone speed are quite taxing, so your energy must be at least a third full in order to use these moves. Right. To pull off such powerful moves, you'll need to find ways to increase your energy. Your energy will increase gradually as you continue rallies and pull off charge shots. 
Uh, there's also incredibly powerful move called a Max Charge Shot. It will build up your energy even more. Uh, I'm gonna press the shot button very nice to a Max Charge Shot. Oh, okay, so basically now. Ooh, and then hit it. Oh, that falls. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Great. Great. Alright, Max Charge. Next. Fantastic. One really effective way of increasing your energy using the trick shot. A trick shot makes use of your own particular skill set to help you reach balls that are far away. You can up your own enthusiasm or that of the crowd by making your opponent think they have the advantage and then easily return the ball. You should know that trick shots are risky though. If your timing is off, you'll end up losing energy instead of earning it. It's all about timing. Right, tilt the R stick. Okay. Oi! Your reaction time is fantastic! Your reaction time is fantastic again! Don't tell me, yes, your reaction time is fantastic! Three times in a row! Sweet. I'm already forgetting the buttons. Right for that, R for that, L for the other thing. What a wonderful trick shot! Okay then, I believe it's finally time for you to unleash a special shot. You can increase your energy in various ways. Try to max it out so you can pull off your very own special shot. A special shot is a powerful move that can potentially change the momentum of an entire match. When you unleash your stored up energy, the mighty special shot that's unleashed will be something that's uniquely you. Ah. Match your energy and press L. Oh, I haven't pressed L yet. Here we go. Myself. There he goes. And that. Too early. And he's gone. No more fight, Mario. Oh, maybe there is some fight, Mario, still. Mesmerizing. You have learned all I have to teach you. You are truly a first rate tennis hero, Mario. The five sacred stones are hidden in the forest, the mansion, the snow, the sea, and the flames. I beg of you, please stop Lucian's return to power. I'll do it again. Questionable accent, Mario. Sometimes, if, if you've ever watched the cartoon, he used to have like a pretty obvious New York accent, but um, obviously in the game, it's a P, it's a Mario, which is a bit more racist. Oh, here we go. This is awful. We've got to gather those power stones before Luigi and the others beat us to it. Five power stones hidden in the islands, different regions. Well, it all sets in dawdling. Let's start with the forest. If you have plenty of access in the menu, after pressing minus a plus. No, it's a clear, I can't even be able to nail that plus and minus business. You can now choose the Basque Ruins Court in free play and swing mode. Sample of Basque. And that is the Basque country done. Prime Plant Forest is where we are, and that seems like a good place to leave this episode. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, as a, as a first impression, I'm quite enjoying this. Nice and easy to do. Um, a bit of fun. So we'll stop here. In part two, we will start looking at Prana Plant Forest. Until then, uh, take care of yourselves. Love you all. Bye-bye.